Hey guys, Sean Lentz here from Appalachian DIY, and today I'm going to show you how to install the Schlage Connect Deadbolt. The first thing that we need to do is take out the old deadbolt. Now that we have the old deadbolt out, the first thing that we need to do to install the new one is install the bolt. Now your back set, which is the middle line to this hole, measured from here to the center, is all dependent on what setting you're gonna choose on your actual bolt. This one's really nice. All you have to do to change it is twist the bolt either to two and three eighths or two and three quarters. For me, it is two and three eighths. And on this bolt, there is a top to it. Make sure that's facing up, install it into the hole, and then just set your two screws. Okay, now we need to install our strike plate. What's really nice about this lock is it's a BHMA grade one lock, which is the highest residential security rating or grade that you can buy. What helps make it that way is the strike plate that we're gonna install is an eighth of an inch thick. Normal strike plates are half of that thickness. Adding to that, they give you a three inch lag screw. So what that's gonna do is this three inch lag is not only gonna go through your door jam, but it's also going to attach to the wall studs that are behind it. And then you're gonna take your normal strike plate, place it right on top, take your normal lag screws, and then bolt everything to the door jam. So that is what's gonna help this make a grade one lock. The only problem with that is, is you have an added thickness there. Normal door jams are only cut for the shallower, um, regular 16th inch strike plates. So what you may need to do is chisel or route this out to make this plate fit flush. So make sure you guys see this, it says door stop this side. So what we need to do is place this side up against our door stop. But also make sure that the recessed um, screw holes face out towards you. So what we need to do is actually face it this way. So this piece goes up against our door stop and make sure the countersink inset is facing out so the screws sit flush. All we're doing here is leveling up our strike plate and then pre-drilling for our lag screws. Now that we have our strike plate installed, it's time to make sure that we've got everything lined up properly. Go ahead and take a screwdriver, place it in the slot in the bolt, and slowly turn it clockwise. That'll push the bolt into our door jam, and it should be nice and smooth. There should be no friction, and it should be effortless. If you do have some friction and it's rubbing against the strike plate or something, go ahead and take it off and make sure you fix it before you move on. Now we need to install the outside locking mechanism. On the lock, you're gonna see this little nub on the bottom. That's gonna line up with the notch on the bottom of our bolt. What you need to do is pass the wire through the bottom, underneath the bolt, and align that little nub and the notch on the bottom of the bolt. Next, take the inside plate. Make sure that this dished portion is facing the inside of the door. Thread your wire through the bottom slot and then take these bolts through the plate and align them with the locking mechanism on the outside. Now you can take your alarm assembly, slide your battery cover off, and on the back side, there's gonna be a pronged plug in there and you see the white dot, you're gonna line that white dot with the white dot on your connector. 
Now you can take your wire and route it down into this groove and align this notch up with the notch through the bolt. To fasten the alarm to the back of the door, you have two screws, one long one that goes through the entire body, and also a very, very tiny one that goes to the top. The next thing, unsnap the connector to the battery tray and pull it out, and then go ahead and load it up with batteries. And then slide the cover back on. Okay guys, that wraps up the installation for the Schlage Connect Smart Lock. The next thing that you're gonna to need to do is grab your user guide, and on the back there is a code that is specific to your lock. Go ahead, follow the prompts, and get it set up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and head over to Appalachian DIY for more videos. Thanks again, guys, and I hope to see you next time.